welcome to my channel um yeah this week's video is gonna be um <laughs> about my pregnancy and my journey with motherhood right um yeah i hope you enjoy it Let, mm, grab yourself a glass of wine a cup of tea or water or whatever and let's get into it I'm trying to talk a little slower because I am a bit tipsy. So when I'm tipsy, I do get to like So I'm trying to enunciate my words. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Before we get into the video, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, right? But please, please, please subscribe. Like it's literally for free it doesn't cost you anything youtube does not like charge you anything for subscribing so please if you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed please pause this video and go down below there's a subscribe button down below and subscribe we'll wait for you okay pause this video right now and go subscribe we're gonna wait are you done okay sharp um yeah, like I said, um, it's a bit of a story time. I love doing these. Um, yeah. So let's take it back to 2017, right? Um, I fell pregnant in 2017. Only found out when I was like four months pregnant. Yes, four months, right? But my excuse is that I was on contraceptives. Um, so I did not even think Right, I did not even think that was gonna happen. I Wasn't planning on it. I wasn't like no, so it was a complete surprise mm -hmm. It was um, How I found out um, I Found out in August I think like the last few days of August I took leave from work because I wasn't okay like Mentally, physically, emotionally, I was not okay. So I decided to take a few days off from work. And I went to visit my then boyfriend who is Langa's dad, right? So I thought maybe a few days off would do me good. So I booked my leave, booked my tickets. Even there, like, I was not okay. Like, I was sleeping the whole day, like, Umundu would find me in the same position he left me in like that's how bad it was like I did not want to do anything I did not want to participate in life I was tired all the time I was moody cranky like and I was peeing all the time I, I, I that that was the one thing that prompted the pregnancy test I was peeing all the time and I remember telling him I was like no this is not normal for me and it's a sign of pregnancy that much I know but even then, like, I didn't believe it. Like, I just thought maybe I had, like, a UTI or something. Like, I didn't think it was, you know, like, there's something baking in the oven, right? So, I remember on the last day of my leave, like, when I was supposed to be leaving for Joburg, I think this was a Sunday, for Durban, sorry, because I was in Durban at the time. We decided to take the test. I don't know why I decided to do it then. Um, but yeah, we did it on the last day of me leaving, which I regretted because if I had found out like maybe two days before, I would have had time to let it sink in and be, you know, like not take the test and then leave and, and go be alone in Durban. But anyway, we took the test, um, came out positive. A clear blue, it tells you literally, we we'll see how far along you are. It said three plus or plus three weeks or something like that i be i care from there i realized good each like it jumped okay hey <laughs> I, I when i saw that um thing there i cried i cried like somebody died i cried so much <laughs> I remember even in the plane I was crying. I was crying even from the shuttle from the airport to 
my place i was crying right but i realized now that i was grieving like i was grieving a lot of things because i realized was i now that you're pregnant you can't your life literally changes from the moment you find out you're pregnant like you can't do certain things you can't I can't be the same person like I need to change so I, I was grieving all of that and then the next day I had to go to work and pretend as if I was fine and my work environment at the time wasn't a very friendly or comfortable environment like I wasn't looking forward to going back to work I did not want to go back to work um, yeah but I had to go back to work I had to show up um i remember after that like literally dragging myself through life like literally dragging myself through the, the days because i was tired i was miserable i was sad i was angry like i was all sorts of things i was literally crying every day of the week i was crying at every chance i got partly because of hormones and i'm also a very emotional and sensitive person like if I'm sad, I will cry. So all of that combined, like it was just like waterworks all the freaking time. And also I felt a lot of shame falling pregnant as an intern. I was the only black intern there. And I also felt like, like I was dragging all of us down. I don't know how to explain this, but I felt like as a black intern i didn't I, I had no business falling pregnant i had no business failing i had no business like doing wrong like i just felt like if i failed or did anything out of line it will always go back to the fact that i'm black not because of my personality or whatever like it would be because of my blackness first before anything else i don't know if i'm making sense but i felt like i was judged um for me for being black and i don't want to add like a lot of stereotypes into that like falling pregnant felt like i was adding ignorance uh, um not being smart not being i don't know what to call it but yeah it, it felt like i was adding a lot of bad connotations to the fact that i was black I don't know if I'm making sense. So I just, I wasn't fine with the whole pregnancy situation. And I wasn't fine with the fact that I was starting to show and people were beginning to notice and my body was changing and I couldn't hide it for long after that because I think like two months after that I started showing. And it was hell, like it was a hell. Um, and my, my colleagues were very invasive, like they would ask me questions that wasn't planned, like why do you care? Why do you have to know if it was planned or not? Like if it was, then what? If it wasn't, and then, you know? Um, so it was, it was a very uncomfortable time for me, both physically and even like around me. And I don't know how I made it because I was literally alone. Besides my best friend in the whole world, um, I was literally alone in Durban. My boyfriend was in Gauteng, my ex was in Gauteng, my family was in Newcastle, like I was in hell pretty much. And I don't know how I made it to the last day because even um, in the last month of my internship theme, they were telling me that I owed leave. Um, so I'm supposed to pay back the days and the hours that I owe them. So they're telling me that my internship had to last. So my internship had to lapse, lapse, lapse. So I had to finish my internship in January, right? Because I owed them days. And I, so, and I, I remember vividly telling them because i'm giving birth in january they're like no then you have to go give birth leave the baby and then come and pay back the time that i owed them and then go back home or whatever and i was just like what like how does that make sense <laughs> and i didn't even owe them i think i owed them like two days and i asked them to take 
the days from my leave days and I didn't want to and I asked to work over time and it was just, like it was just a whole lot of things in gym that were necessary and yeah but yeah by God's grace they released me in in December so I was able to do my to start my concert in January but even then like starting my concert was such a mission because I was placed I got a I was placed right in 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 Woodbank Hospital and then my appointment I said Woodbank TB Hospital in my mind I thought that was a mistake right so I show up at Woodbank Hospital like ready to pop like I was on month nine in January ready to pop I show up there I do everything we do the orientation like and mind you like I'm feeling a lot of shame because we like some of the people that are there are interns and some are serve um people and i'm and i'm the only one that's pregnant and i'm just like yo i shame their car but scared i showed up i did what i was supposed to do and i asked them if i could go back home to see my doctor because my doctor was in castle and they're like yeah you can go um so i left i left and then my fake house i asked my doctor to give me a letter to send them back to say i'm not fit to work um, until I like I give birth and I'm healed right so I send them the letter and I get a call right after that that says no nope, actually you're not placed in this hospital you're placed in Woodbank TV hospital so you need to report there so you need to come right <laughs> so I need to leave Newcastle come to Woodbank fetch my things take them to Woodbank TV hospital and I like I it, that did not make sense for me at the time. I was like, no, there's no way like I can Because I didn't have a car at the time. Like, there's no way I can I can take a taxi there To come fetch my things to take them to a different hospital a TB hospital like that and I'm pregnant like no so I Remember thinking to myself. I can't do that and even if like okay, I can do that like take my things there because at some point the HR person from Midbank TV Hospital called me and they're like, no, you need to come, you need to come sign the contract and all of that. And I kept thinking to myself, I'm going to have a newborn soon. How, gonna, how am I going to work at a TB? Oh. <sighs> Sorry. How am I going to work at a, a TB hospital and then come home to a newborn? Because I wasn't, I wasn't planning on leaving my baby, a newborn baby, back home alone and then when I, like come and work a every bank gym so i didn't see how all of that like would work it didn't make sense for me so i ended up like um declining the offer i had to decline the offer and but before i declined the offer i tried everything i tried being moved to a different hospital i tried like being moved to the hospital that, that i was initially placed at nothing worked nothing worked so i was like there's no way i'm leaving my baby now like i wasn't even like six weeks in you're only supposed to go back to work like after your your six week checkup with the baby i was like there's no way like there's no way and nobody was sympathetic about it so i was like i i'm not i i, I can't deal with a newborn and then deal with the stress of all of this so rather let me decline the offer I knew there was a second cycle in June, so I'll try again in June. All right? So I did that. Yo, oh, it was the best and worst mistake of my life, right? Best because I got time to spend with my daughter, bond with her, like, you know, with no pressure. But also financially, it was the worst decision. Like, I was suffering. I did have a few, like, savings. Like, I, I did have a few thousands of rands just stashed away but they were quickly running out because in Ghana ear dura guys like I think at the time a tin of milk was like two fifty or something and I needed two and then you still have to buy nappies and then clothes and then this and then that like it was just a whole lot of things. So money was running out quickly and oh baby daddy was just yeah his contributions were not enough let me just put it like that like it was not enough to cover everything 
never mind the girl in Ghana, I didn't have money to take care of me. And I was starting to feel like a burden at home. Like, it was just a lot. But luckily, in July, I got a placement, and I got a placement at home. But, um, yeah, and, and after that, that whole, like, placement, finding a job back home, and, like, being closer to home, and things got better like things got better and yeah so, <laughs> I don't know if I should end it here or but I've got nothing else to say so that's basically how I found out I was pregnant how my pregnancy went and a little like after I gave birth and um, there's no purpose to this video I'm just sharing um, my story and yeah please guys please subscribe like <laughs> I'm begging you literally please subscribe I appreciate the views the comments are very much appreciated and please continue but please subscribe um, it makes a difference um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please um, give it a like um, please share please comment and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching and sticking around bye